Tebler. Today we're going to be checking out the spotting aspect of the destroyer role. So game situation, very close match. Score very close. They just knocked out our only battleship. Uh, they got a full health barn, they got a full health telling, both very dangerous, and a low health Pensacola. We just recently captured B, and now we have cruisers, which I'm trying to support. I'm uh, one shot for all these ships. If I get spotted, or potentially even radared, uh, we're probably going to die. I'm trying to stay at the edge of that Tilling's radar range. If he does zap me briefly, I can hopefully get away from it. Uh, but I do want to pressure C, capture it if possible, or uh, at least shut off the scoring temporarily, let our lead accumulate a little bit. On the red team screen, they're looking at a sunset, and they're looking at a bunch of shells coming their way with uh, no visible uh, responsible parties. That's because I'm sitting here, I'm spotting for my team. They're all doing a great job utilizing cover, right? They can, they've got some space between the islands and these guys. And because I'm providing a line of sight to these guys, they can shoot for free, right? Basically, combat in this game uh, on a conceptual level is just a trade of damage per minute. And there's various ways to affect your opponent's abilities uh, to, you know, output damage. And there's ways to limit it by angling and so forth, you know. So you can defensively alter the damage per minute trades, and you can do it offensively. Um, but here, basically, I think the Fiji briefly squirted out, so that's why they're shooting now. Um, but here, our team's, you know, sending out a lot of potential damage per minute. Now, they're not hitting all their shots necessarily, but that's another matter. Uh, but basically, all this damage, potential damage, is not being... Uh, reciprocated, right? Red has nothing to shoot at, and uh, this is an uneven trade. This is a very strong play when you have one player, particularly in a destroyer, spotting for ships that are utilizing cover, uh, because then that damage per minute trade that we're talking about conceptually becomes extremely lopsided, right? One team's not dealing any damage, the other team's dealing all the damage that it can. So, Pensacola had the right idea. You didn't have the health nor the armor uh, to do it, but uh, he knows, okay, we got to push into this thing. The other two, they're scared. Uh, they're, you know, it's not an easy situation to do or to be in. But there is a counter to this, especially the Talene. If he's got the radar here, I'm right on the edge. And again, it's, he's coming towards us now. We'll just get off the cap, right? We shut off the scoring here for a moment. Uh, but we don't want to die for to this guy because if we lose our spotting advantage, i.e. me, uh, be in position where we are, now my guys can't shoot for free. And they're going to have to deal with a Talion and a Byron close quarters combat, most likely. And uh, there's not a lot of time left. Red needs to be much more aggressive here. Uh, but they're getting frustrated. Maybe they're loading up Reddit, uh, ready to complain about HE spam, whatever it is. Or undetectable destroyers. Pick your topic du jour. Um, but this is actually, you know, a very strong play. So understanding the vision in general, important. You know, blue ring on the map, that's your... You get a red ship in there, you're detected, uh, white ring, that's your max firing range, you pull the trigger, and that blue ring expands to that, briefly. So if there's ships within the white ring, you shoot your guns, you're spotted, and uh, this is kind of an application in, you know, uh, of said concept. So we're not shooting, we're uh, making sure those ships don't become on our blue line, but the guys behind us, they're utilizing the cover, they're getting the free shot. So... Look for these opportunities of the destroyers. This is a strong part of your uh, game, and your team will definitely appreciate it.